Most of the fat controller's engines accepted diesels. James had never liked them. They're all right, said Henry. Just mixed traffic engines like you and me. Mixed up engines, you mean, James grunted. With windows at each end, how can they know if they're coming or going? Toby has two cabs, remarked Duck, and he gets on all right. Toby's just a little engine, scoffed James. If an important engine like me didn't know which way to turn, what would the railway come to? All the engines agreed that James was becoming much too puffed up in his smoke box. Making out his royalty or something, grumbled Henry. It's disgusting. I knew an engine called King James, remarked Duck, in the old days at Paddington. King James the first, he was. But he didn't swank about like that. Och, then I'd be telling James that, pleaded Donald. It's even mere of a misery he'll be making our lives. Exactly, agreed Henry. But who's going to trim his wheels for him? The engines tried all sorts of ideas, but nothing worked. James grew so conceited that the others were glad when he was away. Even the coaches twittered anxiously to each other if they thought he was to pull them. One day, James came to the shed, fuming with rage. Shunting, he snorted. Where are Donald and Douglas? They should be here for jobs like that. But the twins were helping on Edward's branch line, so James had to do the work himself. James's train had long trucks called well wagons. These have bogey wheels at each end, with a low section between them. They're used to carry cars, tractors and other heavy machinery. The shunting should have been easy, but James was cross and bumped the trucks. Oh, 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 they cried. Some of them slipped their brakes on to spike James. The weather was damp and misty too, so the shunting took a long time. 